I, I realize I tell you 99% of what's true. I just leave off that 1% and she asks, so what's that 1%? And, and it was, I'm in love with someone else. I love you, but I'm in love with someone else. In this video, a man struggles to resolve his conflict about loving two women at the same time. Byron Katie shows how it's possible to feel deep love for more than one person at once and helps us understand that sometimes the deepest truth is, I love you, but I'm in love with her. Okay, sweetheart, let's go inside. Let's take a look. I am confused by honesty because it is inconsistent. When compared to the past, it feels inconsistent oh in the my. moment. That, that could be a confusion. My husband say, do you love me? I say, yes, no. Yes, yes, no. I'm totally consistent now. No. Yes. Always consistent now. It is what it is now. And I hear you. And I'm asking you. The truth is inconsistent. Is that true? Let's look at it this way. Let's come at it from this angle. It's supposed to be the same all the time. No, it's not. Good. So yes. where's the problem? The belief that okay. it should be consistent. Well, should be the same as it was a moment ago. Oh, hopeless. Yes. <laughs> the truth should be ever-changing in this crazy dream. You know, ultimately... It never moves. But who's there? You know, can I just start in kindergarten? My husband says, do you love me? Can I just tell the truth that appears now? That's all that's required of me. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, honey. Mm. Oh, my gosh. My husband says, do you love me? And I, said, and I say, no. And then he says, do you love me? And I've changed my mind. But the truth must be consistent. So I say, no, will I lose him? It could look that way. So I'll stick to that one find forever. But that wasn't true for me. Yes, no, yes, yes, no. Do I care? Yes, no. Yes, yes, no. I only have to know the answer now. So in that I'm consistent. I do the best I can. So, sweetheart, how do you treat people when you attach to the thought that the truth, what would you say, should or should not be consistent? Should be. Okay, so how do you treat society when you attach to the thought that the truth should be consistent? Mm. And it's not. It's, there's this sense of frustration. There's a, an inner pain. And the feeling that late has been more that my feelings, my thoughts, my, my truth, my honesty should be consistent. And when, when I go in on that one and it's not, I feel broken. And I feel yeah. in pain and dysfunctional and not trustworthy. Uh, I feel pretty much like a fuck up. Yeah. So those are some reasons to drop the story. Yeah, big ones. Can you see one reason to keep this childhood myth that is not stressful? I can't find a st non-stressful one. Who would you be without the story that the truth should be consistent? Honest in the moment. And I guess there would be that willingness to, to just speak it without having to compare it to what was a moment before. Yeah, I'm hearing flexibility. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's the turnaround? The truth should be consistent. My thinking should be consistent. The truth should not be consistent. I would, that's where I went with it. Yeah. It feels more accurate to me. You know, I found a final truth. There is no truth. <laughs> I'm still looking, I'm open. Wherever my friends or family are attached, that's all the truth's left. Yeah. And they're holding it. And I respect that. Thank you. Let's look at the next one. Honesty feels or seems to be a fabrication from a story I'm telling in the moment. And it's like, it's, you know, what's your, what's your truth? What's your honesty? And, and uh, the work goes off. Is it true? Like, I don't know. I don't know what's true. So it's I don't a, know it's honest. So it's a, it's, it's a thing to remember the mother with the child and just turn it around. What do you think the truth is? You know, somebody asks me, what is the truth? Then I say, you know, I'm a little fuzzy now. What is the truth for you? You know, sometimes that's all that's left of what I am. You know, your story is what's left. 
I think the thing that comes up for me often in, in relationship when, when a, a loved one is asking me, how do I feel? What do I think about something? There's this story that goes off. And What's an example? Uh, it's like one, one friend asked me, will you be, you said you would be available to see me more often. And, and, not, and it appears that you lied to me because you don't, you mm. didn't. And the feeling goes, yeah. Yeah, it's so and, and it's like I should be, I should have known mm. then how, how it would have looked tomorrow. No. So what's the truth of it? I didn't. You did tell them that. And they are right. And you're doing the best you can. Mm -hmm. You know, the truth has two parts to it. It's this part and that part. So someone said, you lied to me. Yes, I see that's how it appears, and I'm doing the best I can. What do you suggest? I'm working on it. But if they say, you lied to me, and I go into defense, or I go out in defense, then I'm lost. I've got a war going on. But if I go in, I lied to them. Is it true? Well, I thought it was the truth at the time. And I could see how they could see it as a lie. I can call it that too. Yeah, the truth is, I lied. It wasn't planned. I'm doing the best I can. Mm -hmm. But it's the whole truth, rather than going to a guilty fog. Well, I, I think that's this part where the story goes off, and, and I know on a level it's a manipulation. I, I'm afraid what I'm going to lose. So when you, when you tell them that, you know at the time. Okay, so when someone says you lied, you can say yes. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of losing you. I'll say anything to keep you. I'm just not able to live up to it. <laughs> it's on tape. <laughs> I need a script. <laughs> Give me the script. But, but, but that's it, you know? I'll do anything, anything for your love. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Um, I'm saddened that honesty, or angry that, honest, that being honest disrupts my relationships and leaves me lonely. What's an example of that? Um, I, I, was, I was sharing with a, a friend the other morning and I was realizing, you know, the concept of the honesty and I said, you know, I, I realize I tell you 99% of what's true. I just leave off that 1% and she asked, so what's that 1%? And, and it was, I'm in love with someone else. I love you that I'm in love with someone else. What and about it felt like that was, the, it was like then yeah. the friendship, the relationship separated. Oh. So you might ask them, do you really want to know the truth? I did. Okay, and they wanted to know, so that's it. Yeah. And to use the word but separates, to use the word and joins. joins. So I love you, I love her, I love someone else, and I love you. Yes. And I'm doing the best I can. And I think I should do better in there. Is it true? No. You should do better. No. It's just the thought. An old one. Honey, you're supposed to only love one person. Not in my world. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you know, if... I don't know, honey, I just... Oh, I have, you know, the same thing going. It's like my daughter says, or my husband, it's not fair, you love everyone equally to me. I say, yes. And he is finally laughing about having to stand in long lines to get a hug from his wife. Yeah. 
and I love him with all my heart and why he stays it's it's um, um, it's love do I love everyone equal to him? No. When I'm with him, he's the one that I love. He's the one in front of me. And he says, but you love everyone that way. Yes. It's not something that I'm doing on purpose. It's what I am. I'm not, I'm not doing this. This is, this is what I am. I don't tell him that part. I just answer his questions. <laughs> <laughs> It's like Seems that like 1%. a kind thing to. <laughs> well, it's like that one percent I don't say because I think it's kind, mm -hmm. and what I'm wondering is it kind, or is, I'm, mm -hmm. is it just my manipulation to keep getting what I want? Yeah, probably your manipulation to keep getting what you want. That's what it feels like. Yeah, so that's where the discomfort is. That's what is. this is about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's look at the next one. Um, I want honesty to bring me peace and comfort all the time. Mm. <laughs> 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 Ultimately, it does. Ultimately, it does, as long as you know it's ever changing and um, that it's simple and it is better than any relationship or food or any anything that we'd find substance in. Ultimately that's it. But oh boy does it take a strange path and do you get some interesting questions. All you need to know is the answer if you're a lover of truth. And how to bridge it with the rest of the truth. You know the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Yeah. My problem is, is the story. How do I bridge it from that story to that story and make it feel consistent? And, yeah. and that's what I'm looking at right now. And that's, well, there's it, the willingness to let it go, to, yeah. to see it for real. And it's really simple, this bridging. Yes, I do love this other person, and I love you. If I have to make a choice, I prefer to be with her. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, you live it long enough and actually who I prefer to be with is you. You know, the one in front of me. We become a lover of what is. No longer seeking, just finding always. And there it is, simple to find. Just right in front of our face now. Always. Yeah, always. I love that. Let's look at the next. Um, I want honesty to get me my way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what I want. Yeah. Well, ultimately it does, but you don't stand in it long enough to know that. So we want it to be a certain way, and we know it's, it's not. I want honesty to be easy for me to recognize and share. What I, what I feel is it's not easy to know what's honest. It's very easy if you're not afraid of losing something. simplest thing in the world. That's the key. Yes. Yeah. So you would lose what it is that you have. You know, that's a, can you really know that it's true? No, I can't. I've experienced what it feels like not losing after being honest. In fact, gaining yeah. more often. Yeah, that's, that's my experience 100%. I always gain. Anything I lose, I've been spared. And you know, you're trying to hang on to this, this, these lies so you don't lose something. Huh. Hopeless. Always catches up and it's, and you wear it. Let's look at another one. Okay. I want honesty. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I want sharing my honesty to not hurt another disappoint them or anger them? Well, if we stand point blank and ask you for the truth, we're hurting ourselves the way we receive it. But if I think saying something to you would hurt your feelings, I don't do it. I stop. Because 
I'm going past my own limits, my own boundaries, my own idea of what going too far is for me. So I stop. But I can't know that it would hurt your feelings. I stop for my sake. So if you ask me, then I'm going to tell you because you ask. I want to give you everything. But the way you receive that answer, you hurt you with it or you help you with it. I'm just giving you what I've got. So everyone's responsible for themselves. I could say the most loving thing and someone's really hurt. Well, the story they tell about what I said is how they hurt them. But if I know, I think, I know to say something to you would hurt you and you're hurt, I feel guilt. But you're still doing your own hurt. I hurt me when I went past my own knowing. So I don't walk around being careful about what I say. I stop for me. It makes it real simple, like I can't stop drinking for my daughter. Sooner or later I take responsibility for my own um, heaven or hell. So you can't hurt anyone, sweetheart. But if, you, if I ask you point blank a question and you dance thinking it'll hurt me, then you're not honoring yourself or me. I ask straight up. Must mean I can handle it, I asked. So I give everyone that same respect. Thank you. Yeah. And people around me don't ask a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's because they already know the answer. They already know. They just don't want to hear it. Okay. The, the next one is, is just a rewording of, this, of what I've said before, and it's honesty sh shouldn't change. My truth should be known when asked and remain constant. Is that true? You should know what the truth is. My goodness. No. It's... It's very elusive. It's so changing. It changes so fast. But I notice that people that write the work and inquire and turn it around, we get really clear with the truth. And we, it's easy to stand in it. And it's very simple to be flexible and change your mind. It just gets to be a comfortable thing. But, you know, I looked for the truth for 43 years and, oh my goodness. Very painful. I found it on paper, and that led inside to me. Inside. I need honesty to set me free. Mm. I need honesty to set me free. Is that really what you want? You see, go in. It's, and the, the answer is okay if it's a yes or a no. But you really want to know the truth. Is that true? No. You know, not too much. <laughs> It's that, Sometimes. it's that moment of, of realizing, no, I don't want honesty, I want you. That's I it. I want that. That's it. Yeah. So you just be straight up about it. You know, I want to want the truth and I prefer you now. <laughs> you know, you really want to know the truth? No. Not yet. I need honesty to flow from me diplomatically. Mm. <laughs> Maybe I'll get more that way. <clears throat> I hate this cover blowing stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, sweetheart, you know, how many people is he speaking for, you know? That's just the way it is. You know, we're all doing the best we can. Doing the best we can, yeah. honey. I mean, wouldn't you just zap you clear if you could, you know? I don't know, it's as though we have to experience that we lose it to have it. Because we really can't lose it. It's all an illusion. 
when it's walking through that fire to know it. And again, anything you lose, my experience is I've been spared. But the truth always waits. It's like a friend, you know. It just hangs out, waiting to be touched. Okay, and the next. I need honesty to be my nature now. It is. Yeah. It is your nature. That's why it hurts when you're not living it. That hurt is just like a signal that says this is an opportunity and you don't have to take it. I'll hang out. Thank you. But it is your nature. And again, the way that I know it is, is when you're not living it, it hurts. It's, it's the most wonderful thing. It doesn't demand anything. It just says, I'm here if you need me. It's like a friend, just ever present. It's the best relationship that I've ever met. It's always loyal, always there, always on time. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Honesty is scary and frightening sometimes. Turn it around. Honesty is not. Honesty is not scary and frightening. Unless you're afraid of losing something. It's not the honesty that you're afraid of. It's the loss. Yeah. yeah. And the loss is the gain. <coughs> honesty is difficult. Is that true? Way, only when I'm afraid of losing something. So turn it around. Lying. Honest, lying is difficult. Yeah. Yeah. That's painful. Yeah. Okay. It's Hon- like you're the yeah. love of your life waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> honesty is foreign to my foreign to my getting what I want. So lying? Lying is foreign to getting what I want. It's what I love about what we really want. It's such a surprise. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Honesty messes with my manipulating others to get what I want. Lying? (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Lying messes with my manipulating others to get what I want, to stay safe. Yeah. yeah. Hard case, huh? Yeah. You know, we try everything we can and then we succumb. We just sample every substitute we can get our hands on. Mm. Just have no control over this thing. Mm. I've noticed. I don't ever want to be dishonest with myself or others. I'm willing. I'm willing to be dishonest with myself and others. It could happen. Probably shortly. (laughs) (laughs) I look forward to I look forward to being dishonest with myself and others. Yeah, because you get to feel that pain again and then have the opportunity to take a look. It kind of puts us in that spot where, you know, this is a good time to take a look. Mm, That's all pain's about. Let's get some feedback. Is it you? Is it you? This is kind of more of a question. I'm kind of curious about when exactly do you cross a line between being truthful, being honest in the moment, and just giving into a whim? And what is a whim, and when do you know? Because then the curiosity builds up of like whether or not this is what you truly want, and you know the cycle you just get yourself into of mm-hmm. how do you be honest with yourself, but yet mm-hmm. not give over to just a fleeting. Thing, but the only the, reason it last is because three of words. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My husband could say, "Do you love me?" And I might say, "I don't know." Eventually, I came to see that I love him, and there's nothing I can do about that. That I love everyone and everything, and there's nothing I can do about that. So today when he says, do you love me, I say, yep, with all my heart. It's simple now, and that's consistent. 
but it's something that I realized. But until I realized it, I tell you, when he said, do you love me, I looked for it in my toes, in my knees, in my fingertips, in my hair. I scanned, and it could be five days before I answered him. I mean, I was seeking. And I'd look at his face, and I knew I was supposed to have an answer. And I couldn't find it, so I had to tell him no. And then, the way I tell the story is then I felt this great elation. And then I could honestly tell him, you know, I think I've found what you're looking for. You know, I love you. You know, it looked like it matched what he was looking for in me. So that's as close as I could get to it. You know, I just came to see that love is just another concept. It's not, a, it's not something that I do. It's what I am. It's what you are. And that's why we feel such pain when we are in any kind of story that would deny love, perfection, what is, reality, any story that would attempt to change what I call perfection, is painful, and that's what we're looking at here. I felt it. So that's when I investigated, and then I got this balance again. And each time, it just... I was sharing with some people last night that enlightened not. Enlightened not. Enlightened not. Enlightened not. <laughs> enlightened. You see, I am, I'm not. I am, I am, I'm not. But it's, it's a beautiful thing, this inquiry. Eventually it stabilizes. It wakes up inside of you, these four questions, and it's every knot just unties. It's beautiful. I meet thousands of people who tell me the story of how all day long is just unknotting but you just write it for a while and it's like a mechanism that wakes up. And then what fun. What fun, this great undoing. Um, I, we grew up, a lot of us here in, in the Mormon tradition, and, and I don't suppose it's any different than other religions, but we were taught, I, was, I experienced the teaching of integrity or honesty to be what I should feel, not what I do feel. And uh, and yeah. so it's been real difficult to to cross over on that one, and in um, my experience with relationship, I'm not sure I would have made a choice to actually be with one person if I had thought that it was about what I do feel right now, because I knew I loved so many in the same way. Well, you Quite love everyone amazing. in the same way. Yes. <laughs> I mean, why love so many? It's yeah. so limiting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in those days, it was just so many. <laughs> yeah. But it includes, you know, it includes children and trees and dogs and cats and air. Yeah, but as long as I have just a few, it's a beginning. Yeah. yeah. And in the certification, those two weeks together, um, with Katie, with you, I saw that... <laughs> Honesty, that love doesn't look like anything but honesty. It could look like it changes its mind. It could look like it's straightforward, which could seem not caring or even disdainful to some people if you wanted to interpret it that way. It just was always honest. And it seemed so simple of an approach to love. I mean, that's love, yeah. just being honest, not sweet. I thought I had yeah. to be sweet all the time. Yeah, what I love about it is it's always kind. It's always kind. But it may not be seen that way by others. But it always feels kind inside. Yeah. So here, sweetheart. Truth is always supposed to be the same. For 20 years, I believed in a truth. And everybody around me 
told me it was the truth. I don't know what to do. Sweetheart, if you've had a truth for 20 years that worked for you, it's probably still true now. I'd hang on to it. It hurts. What is the, tr what is the truth for you? The truth for me was that everything that the church told me was right. Yeah. Well, sweetheart, you and know. And living that truth hurts. It still hurts. I spent eight hours last night writing about how the truth hurt me. And it stole me from me. And hearing him talk about truth, it's just smacking me in the face. I don't know if I can survive it. I'm yeah. angry. So, sweetheart? Does anybody else get angry about that? Or is it just... <laughs> <laughs> so, sweetheart, what's an example? Thanks. What's an example of what they lied to you about? Oh, which one? <laughs> well, I always like to begin with one. They told me that they had all the answers for my life. And if I did what they told me to do, I wouldn't have any problems. And okay, so let's take a look at this. They told you that they had all the answers for your life. Did you stop to ask you? Uh, I did. Okay. until I didn't get the same answers they got. Okay. So let's start over. <laughs> let's start over. They have all the answers for you. Can you really know that that's true? No. And how did you treat the church when you attached to the story that they had all the answers for you? Like they knew everything I was supposed to do and be. Yes, and, and you kept going back and back to get that. So who would you be without the story? They have all the answers for you. I don't know. I feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> um, they have all the answers for you. Turn it around. I'd be scared. I'd be... It was easy having somebody have my truth. Yeah, so... You know, you use them. They didn't use you. You use them for security. It's and it's gone, not though. a right or wrong. I don't want it to be gone. I want... Sweetheart, let's stay with inquiry. They have all the answers for you. Turn it around. I... I have all the answers for me. Yes. 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 And sweetheart, you know, I can go to the Mormon church, and I do, and they can't say one thing that I can't meet. They have all the answers for me. Well, it turned out for you, they did. They brought you to you. Took them 20 years, but you made it. It's a beginning. Thanks. No mistake, honey. You've been in the, in the perfect religion. You know, I ask people to give me just one place where their religion lied. You know, look at it. You know, maybe your perception about what you were hearing didn't work for you. What fun, huh? the beginning. Hang tight with inquiry. Yeah, you are the church you've been waiting for. And when you get that church down, you can be at peace in any church. And that's, that's the big thing, you know. Can I be comfortable and happy from where I stand? Sit or lie horizontal.